Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my room. Remember what Orion said this? At this time I was undiagnosed with autism and borderline personality disorder, which I have diagnoses of now, and thus was unaware of how these would affect me in the coming relationship we had and how he would, most likely without knowing, take advantage of me. I didn't know I could do that. Well, it turns out multiple people are coming out saying she faked those diagnoses. She claimed that Quiet was lying in the first 10 minutes and said that she needed to quote show her diagnosis. So she posted a picture to her Twitter account and then ran away from the internet. Don't know why she thought this was bombshell evidence to prove her claims, but let's look into it, shall we? Apparently to refute Quiet's hour and a half long video and to combat his alleged lies, she dropped this document on her Twitter feed and then said she was going to be AFK for a while. Well, Twitter has had a field day tearing this apart, so let's join them in on defeating this dumb bitch. I actually cannot believe it right now. Falsifying a document and copy-pasting everything and getting so much stuff wrong in the same image. I am distraught and saddened by this. How dare you, actually? Shit like this is why I'm scared to talk about this stuff. So she's clearly making all of this up, and we're going to go through it and see how badly she fucked it all up. This was taken from Mr. Sen's live stream. I'll put a link in the description because Twitter did our work for us, we're just reporting on it. So right out of the gate, they call her by her Twitter handle, which is not how they operate, and they wouldn't call you a transgender male. They would at the very least call you a female with gender dysphoria because that's the medical definition of a trans male. Clearly, Orion doesn't know the first thing about what she's doing, and is just trying to save face. She has no idea how to respond to Quite's bombshell testimony, and now everybody's back in Quite and tearing Orion a new asshole. And she deserves it, dude, fuck her. Also, she misspelled post traumatic. I don't know if she read her own tweet longer, but PTSD wasn't even what she was claiming to be diagnosed with. It was autism and borderline personality disorder. So she's just claiming to have a whole slew of mental problems, and she does, but none of them were anything that she's listed so far. She's a talentless, attention-seeking demon with no real skill that she can utilize. Even her art is trash. So she spends her entire life on Twitter trying to play the victim for sympathy points. And forging a medical document, as this user points out, is a felony. I pinned him in the last video if you want to read his whole comment, but he is right. What she did is illegal in all 50 states. Forging a medical document in Florida where she's from is a second degree misdemeanor, but forgery in general is a felony that carries a five year prison sentence and a $5,000 fine. This is just going to be a short video. I don't want to go through everything Twitter was saying about the document because I would like to move on to a different video topic and not dwell on the quite thing for too much longer. I wanted to bring this up because this is her response to quite's video and it might have just landed her a prison sentence. Like, look at this rinky dink shit what is this little squiggle this looks like it was drawn carefully with an artist tablet and maybe some sort of electric stylus looks like it looks like it could have easily been copied and pasted or it looks like she did it herself either way she broke the law this is the doctor whose signature she forged and this is who she's claiming made the diagnosis and she legit just doxed this person who by the way specializes in toddler development. So her story has, from the jump has had holes in it, but now she's just boldface lying and doxing actual real world people. And if she thinks Twitter isn't gonna go after this person and attempt to contact them in order to verify the story, she's stupider than I thought. But that's it for this one. Like I said, this is just gonna be a short video because I wanna move on from it. I have an entire ideology to dismantle. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.